The Arabella Bullion Collection, named after my little granddaughter, features tiny bullion roses which can be embroidered on smocking panels. In the first set, I've concentrated on the elements that will enhance your embroidery, and the first designs are the very small ones that can be used on the smocking panels in the later sets in the collection. There are three sizes of bullion roses, and the larger one is more dense, as it has double satin petals. I've digitised it at a slight angle too, just to add some variety to the embroidery and make it look more natural. This lovely spray works perfectly though, even stitched out on smocking panels. And I couldn't resist this little heart either. There are lots of various sprays in this collection, all slightly different, and hopefully there'll be something just perfect for your embroidery. The buttonhole can be used for buttons or purely decorative, or with a row of ribbon threaded through, it looks particularly gorgeous. One of the features that I've incorporated into the larger designs is that the, the larger roses stitch out last so they can easily be eliminated and make the design smaller. I love that one, it's, it's nice and curved. And this is one of the ones I'm talking about. Those two larger roses, if you don't stitch those out, you'll get a smaller design. The outline that you see on this oval will appear again in the collection on edging designs. Remember, each of these variations within this first set have been created so that you can find the perfect design for fitting around the curve of a neckline, along a hem, or around a bodice. I have also included a few um, motive type uh, designs, and I particularly love this one with the heart in, in the middle. Remember to experiment with colours don't be limited by the colours that I have chosen. Do you like this uh, heart? It's slightly wonky, but rather beautiful. A great deal of work has gone into the creation of the Arabella Bullion, Bullion Collection. And I've worked alongside my dear friend Pamela Cox in preparing these designs and making them suitable to be stitched on ordinary uh, fabric, but also onto smocked panels. And Pamela has created a tutorial, um, which I suggest that you purchase alongside this, this collection. Within this tutorial, Pamela will share with you how to uh, create your smocked panels and will also give you lots of hints on the stabiliser you should use. It, the tutorial has its own unique designs and you will be given instructions on how to make this lovely bolster cushion. I hope you have found this video helpful and inspirational. Don't forget to leave a comment because Graceful Embroidery now gives $30 rewards to uh, the best comment made in the week on any social media platform. Thank you for watching and until next time, um, don't forget to create a work of art on your embroidery machine this week. Hit the like button and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.